today I'm going to be painting on pumpkins. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, there's dirt on the bottom. Shoot! What are you doing? He doesn't ever jump up there. He must want attention. Please talk to him. Basically, ow! This feels like thorns. Before I get hurt even more, let's paint some pumpkins. Step one in this pumpkin customization journey, I took a trip to the pumpkin patch to choose my candidates. There were also some cute distractions. Look at these guys. Brought these back with me and Leo was super curious. He thinks they're his. He does this every year where he scratches his chin on the pumpkin stem and just smells them. According to my cat, the most important thing you have to do before decorating pumpkins is to inspect those pumpkins as carefully as possible, paying close attention to the stems. Well, Leo has no issues with the stem quality of this pumpkin, but he's probably wondering why it's so darn wobbly and scratched. What the heck? You can see he's urging me to start with the white one. Sorry, buddy, we're going with orange first. In the last video, I used acrylic paint instead of paint pens, but today I am dipping into my Posca paint pen slash other brands of paint pen collection. I never thought that poster board was comfortable, but apparently Leonardo does. Looking at his little fuzzy body breathe, is really cute but also kind of alien like he's just gonna be napping here while i draw a kidney bean no it does look like a gray kidney bean but actually you'll find out what it's gonna be i just went right into it so the outline right now is really messy but it'll come together as I go on. P.S. There's a mysterious box here from Amazon. It is an art supply. If any of you can guess what it is in the comment section, I will show your comment in the next video. Uh, this first layer of light pink trying to fill everything in and make it opaque and not streaky. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a process. So I'm gonna let that dry and then move on to this tongue. So it's not a kidney bean, it's a mouth. Surprise probably not really a surprise. After the tongue, I moved on to the cone. I didn't like that first color, so I'm kind of mixing them and making it lighter here. Again, very, very streaky. It's going to take a few layers and some TLC. Painting day two, new outfit, new location. It is sometimes easier to hold it in my lap to paint because the angle of the pumpkin, like all the curves, well, I mean the curve, it's just, a little bit difficult to paint on it when it is just sitting there. And you can see that the color now looks a lot more opaque and less streaky and splotchy. I did this trick that I do in some of my other Posca paint pen videos where I push down on the tip while I'm holding it to the artwork and it just gushes out and this makes it so much easier to paint with because it just gets the job done. As you can see, it looks so much better now. Now the main base of this cone creature is complete and I'm gonna go in and do some details, starting with the teeth, the fangs, the chompers. Then with that same white marker, I am doing a couple eyeballs and they're different sizes. So after the white dried, I went in with blue to make a pupil in one of the eyeballs. And then I decided to move down to the cone again and I'm going to add the texture here, AKA the lines and they're a little bit lighter so you can actually see them and I don't know, I didn't want them to be darker. That's basically what I was trying to say. I went lighter and I think that it was a good decision. Crisscross with the lines. Then we are up to the chocolate syrup. Again, tried to experiment with the colors a little bit, did not like the darker ones, so I'm blending that back into this lighter brown here. Some gooey, rich chocolate syrup. Also, some pink drips at the bottom to add a little bit of character and meltingness to the ice cream. Then, it wasn't looking interesting enough, so I used a couple different colors to add sprinkles to the syrup. Now, this is where everything really comes to life. It is the black outline with this tiny little marker here. For the most part, this was pretty easy to do. I was able to keep a fairly uniform line thickness and that's really all I was going for, just to not screw it up. And there are going to be some touch-ups later with some of the different colors, but 
that is no big deal. Especially with this eye, I definitely made those lines a little bit too thick, but nothing I can't fix later. And then the cone was probably the scariest part because it's supposed to be straight, but you know, with a waffle cone, I guess in real life it is kind of crinkly at some parts so you know there can be pieces that are chipped i think it looks fine is what i'm trying to say now we're gonna fix up the teeth because they were looking a little streaky not very pearly white not acceptable so here we go and the outline oh my gosh it's really coming together for this part in the mouth here what is this called the uvula uv uvula <laughs> at first it was the wrong shape so i fixed that off camera and made it curve to fit the curve of the mouth and I think it looks so much better. I'm very happy that I did that and didn't take the lazy way out. And while I was talking about that, you can see I made this green apple. It's really tiny. It's a candy poison apple. At first the white was not cooperating, but we fixed it. No worries. So here's some dripping poison. <laughs> and Leo came back to join. He's like, what the heck is going on? A little tiny stem. And then the outline magically because i didn't feel like filming that in fear of messing it up then all that's left to do is outline the tongue and wait 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 i forgot actually i added some black detail -y drips all over his ice cream body is that his body his head like i think he's just he just is <laughs> but wait there's more i forgot again i finished with this eye and put an X in it, some bloodshot marks, and that is it. Now we are going to move on to pumpkin number two. Ooh. After a word from past me. Freeze! If you didn't know, I have merch, including this one that you can't see. Spooky Stitch is the bunny. Obviously, it may be a little bit too late to get this in time for Halloween 2022, but you can wear it all year. It's very soft and cozy. I will have other designs coming up for Christmas, winter, holidays, and beyond. What was this? <laughs> I'll link my merch shop in the description box below if you're interested. I have quite a few different designs right now and more things to come like stickers and enamel pins and all that jazz. I'll keep you updated. Stay tuned and I would really appreciate any support. Now back to painting. With both hands? No, just, just right. I'm a righty. This white pumpkin is so much smoother than the orange. And because of that, I think it should get to display a cute design for the artwork. Specifically, Herb the Ghost and his lovely girlfriend, Lucy. You may have seen them featured in my previous video. Anyway, I wanted them to really pop, so of course I opted to make them colorful instead of their usual white glow. They both got a couple layers of paint that I allowed to dry before going in with black for the facial details and an outline after that. Well, after realizing one of the Poscas was out of ink, look, it's completely dried up. Even though the other marker that I'm using is full of paint, I can actually see it, I still had some struggles getting it to flow. And it was removing paint from underneath. Nothing too major I couldn't work through though. a few more details. Oh look, they're in love. Cute little heart. And ta-da! You may think this is a very simple design, and it is, but wait, there's more. I decided to go a step further and draw the ghosts again on the other side of the pumpkin. This time though, it's their evil alter egos. So creepy faces all around. I made them look like Boos, which are characters from the Mario video game series. I think it's the perfect trick or treat concept, get it? You spin it and you don't know which one you're gonna get. It's a little bit cute and a little bit spooky. 
those are my two designs let me know in the comment section below which pumpkin you like better the weirdo ice cream i didn't think of a name for him or the ghosties thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you back here in my next video have a great rest of the day bye la 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 Ooh. Ow. I'm not sure if anyone noticed, but I have probably like a couple dozen pairs of pattern pants. It's no big deal. I don't have a problem.